Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk to you about how you see yourself, both in the mirror and in your head. How do you think of yourself? Do you think of yourself as a good person, someone who can accomplish the goal they set before themselves as a winner? Or do you think of yourself as someone who won't get what they want and is only a dreamer? How many of us have been told all our lives, oh, you're just dreaming about that. That's not a realistic goal. You can't do that. You're too poor. You're too short. You're too fat. You wear glasses. I spent a long time and I still think of myself when I'm thinking of myself. Even when I talk about myself, I, I always said I was broken. Just because I wasn't like everybody else, I was broken. And I'm just now coming to realize I'm not broken. God doesn't break things. God creates us all the way we're supposed to be. I don't care if you're autistic, if you're blind, if you're crippled, if you're deaf. Every person on the planet has some form of disability. I don't care if you're wearing a multi-million dollar suit. You have something. A lot of people, it's not physical. A lot of people have a disability, a mind block. I'm poor because my mom was poor. Or I can't do this. Or I shouldn't be left-handed. My One of my good friends was left-handed and she, when she was in a religious school, when she was very young, they used to hit her hand with a ruler because she was left-handed and try to force her to use her right hand. What we go through when we're young sticks with us, even if we barely remember it. We're not broken, people. And if you say yourself to yourself, I'm broken, then you're right. My friend Danny, her teacher had this sign up in her classroom when she was young, and Danny always remembered it. She said, the sign said, if you think you are, or you think you aren't, you're absolutely right. No, I'm not perfect, but I'm learning. And I've got good friends and people in my life to help me learn more. So do I need to change how I think about myself? Yeah. I need to stop thinking I'm broken and take all those ideas and dreams that live in my head and the what ifs that I think about. What if I did own this house? And make them reality instead of make them just a dream. How much more powerful is your dreams gonna be if you can make them your reality? You say, well, I don't know how. Just because you don't know how doesn't mean there isn't someone out there who does. There's someone out there. A new friend of mine just told me there's someone out there that knows, that can help. There's 7 billion people on the planet, she says. And she's right. You don't know something. Well, there's someone else that does. Or there's not one person among us who knows everything. Doesn't the president have advisors? Now, why do you think that is? I like to call that a thing that makes you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, in my world are things that make you think. And God gave us one of the most powerful computers on the planet. It's right up here. Why don't we start using it? And not just you. I'm talking about me too. I learned a lot tonight when I talked to my new friend. And I learned that I wasn't using this either. I was blocking myself. I no longer accept that. Am I going to falter? Yeah. Am I always going to think of myself in negative connotations? At times, yes, I am. I'm human. But I'm also going to start thinking of myself and the things that I can do. I want to help others. I already have. 
I want to continue that work, then don't let anything stop me. I want to own my own house someday. I even know the house I want to own. Go for it. Why not? We only have one life on this planet. We don't get a rewind. Make it everything you want it to be. I'm learning how. And I'm already only I'm already 45 and I used to think I'm already 45. What else can I do? I'm on my I'm I'm getting too old. I choose to change that. I'm only 45. I still have many years ahead of me to do, and I'm going to not start tomorrow. I'm going to start now. So why don't we all start now? You don't like something in this world? Change it. How many people have changed throwing down garbage because someone stopped to think that littering was not right? How many people started to think cleaning up our oceans was a good idea? It had to start with somebody. And now look, we've got recycling, which drives me nuts sometimes because I can't remember which bin is plastic and which bin is paper. But it's an idea that started with one person. A fire starts because one spark ignites. Let's be that spark. Not because you're too old, not because you're too young, not because you're too racial colored, not because you're blind, not because you're crippled. Those are labels that we allow to be stuck on ourselves. I'm no label. I'm human. I want to stick that Good night, everybody.